In this video, I'm going to walk you through the Anabin database. So Anabin is a database you can use to find out if your foreign university degree is recognized in Germany, which is something you will probably need if you are a non-EU citizen um, and if you want to study in Germany or work in Germany. So the issue is that Anabin only comes in German language and also the interface from my point of view is sometimes a bit difficult to use. Um, so I'll walk you through the different steps you need to take to get the right documents in place and yeah let's get started. So this is the Anabin interface and you will find the Anabin website by simply googling for Anabin or you can also of course go directly to this URL that you see here in the search bar. Um, the Anabin website unfortunately only comes in German language, which is also one of the main reasons why I decided to make a video on this. And let me tell you, even though I'm a German native speaker, I still struggle with finding my way on the Anabin website from time to time. So it, it doesn't have a very high usability. Um, but yeah, this is what the landing page looks like. And um, there are two steps that you will need to take to find out if your degree is recognized in Germany. So I will explain both of them to you right now. Um, so the first thing um, I would do would be to take a look at the left side here because you want to access the Anabin database. And there are um, two options to do this. You can either go through a search of institutions or through a search of the kind of degree um, that you're looking for. And I would um, get started with the institution. So you simply click here on the left side and then this is what you get to see. So still not the database, just a piece of information and long text in German. But what, what we want to access right now is the search. And for this, you simply need to change the tab here and click on Suchen. And this will finally give you the option to start a search in the Anabin database. Um, so the first step uh, will be to search for the institution that you have studied at. So the institution where you completed your degree. And the first thing I would always do would be to um, go for yeah the country that you have studied in. So let's take Malaysia, for instance. I'm just choosing um, a random example here. So you choose the country and then you click here to confirm your choice. So what you can see now on the lower part of the site is that it has already filtered by country right now. And you have more options to filter. You can filter by um, location, for instance, um, and then simply do the same thing as I did just now. So for instance, take KL and then it directly activates the search. And you can also filter by types of institutions. Unfortunately, again, only in German, um, but maybe this would be helpful for you um, to filter. Maybe let's try. I'll filter by public universities right now. Um, and then it throws out all the results that it has in the database. You can also type in additional search terms if that is of any help for you. Um, for instance, if you find a lot of results, um, it's an additional way to narrow down your search. Um, now, what we are looking for is the status of your university. So this column here, status. And you will find uh, or you will see right now that all the universities I found have an H plus status. Um, so if you want to see more details, for instance, if you found a university now, I'm simply going to Take one, University of, Mal of Malaysia, I think. There's maybe an S missing, or Malaya, I don't know. Um, uh, now, what you want is a printout of this information because you probably need this um, for yeah, whatever you are applying for, whatever you want to do with this recognition of your degree. So to get more information, you can click here. So this will open a window which gives you all the detailed information that they have on this university, including the degree that have been degrees that have been recognized from this university in the past. And again, here you will see the status of the university and you can also click on it. Um, and this will open an information window which tells you about the different classifications for institutions. Basically, what you need to know is that there are three different classes 
So the best outcome for you is if your university has an H plus status, which would mean that your institution is classified as an equivalent to a German um, university. Um, and uh, yeah, that's a, a good outcome. If your university has an H minus status, it means that it's not um, recognized as an equivalent to a German university. So meaning that your degree is Uh, most probably not recognized in Germany. You will find that a lot of institutions have this H plus minus status. So this means that you will really have to pay attention to the um, detailed course that you attended. Um, so it's decided on a case by case basis and uh, there is no general recognition status for your university. So in, this is just yeah the information window for you if you want to um, Yeah, look up the information again, unfortunately, in German language. Um, so we will close this again. And here now we have a university that has an H plus status, which is good. And to save this information, if you will need to provide it, for instance, when you apply for a visa, you can simply press on this icon here and it will open a um, window uh, to print the file. So you can print it or save it on um, your computer. That's what you want to do. So simply click on this icon and that'll let you save the document. Um, so once you're done with that, you can simply close the window. And I would do the same if you have an H plus minus status, um, simply save the document on your computer or print it right away so that you can use it for your application in the future. Now let's move to the second step. For the second step, um, this is really important. You need to always complete the two steps um, when you want to use your recognition status to apply for something. So the second step um, is to look up your specific degree that you have completed. Now we have already checked the institution and we'll move on to the degree. For that, you go here on the left side and click on Hochschulabschlüsse, which basically means university degrees. And now again, we have this long list, this long text with information, but we want to get directly um, to the search. And here you have two op options. You can search by the name of the degree or by the type of the degree. I'll use this one right now. I find it easier to use. So here you will find that it has saved um, the country you specified earlier. Um, And I'm going to change this now, maybe to, to try out a different country instead. So we have to uh, deactivate this. And I'm going to go for India this time because there are a lot of um, degrees in the database. So it's a good example. Here again, you will see a lot of results and you can specify further because you need the specific degree that you have obtained. So I'll go for a common example, a master's program, two years. Here, here you will see a list again. Um, if you find this list confusing because you don't speak German, then I would rather um, type in the exact title of the degree you have obtained. Maybe that'll give you more results. Um, you have to play around with it a bit. Um, now I've filtered for master's programs. And then again, you can also specify um, Uh, uh, the specific domain you are in, let's say commerce, for instance, which leaves me with one result only. And here you will also again see a classification, but what I'm looking for is something different. So again, click on the plus sign, which will open this detailed window here. And what I'm looking for is this category. So the evaluation. So here um, you see something called equivalence cluster. So this basically means the yeah, class classification of equivalence. And this is what we're looking for. Um, so again, if you want to have more information, you can click on the word equivalence cluster. And it will show you that here again, we have three different types of classification. Um, and what you need is something called entspricht or gleichwertig, which means that it's similar to a German university degree. Um, so this is the kind of classification that you have ideally. Um, again, uh, the exact kind of classification you need also depends on what you want to use a recognition for. So um, 
please make sure that um, you know what kind of class you need um, for uh, a visa. Um, if you need to prove your recognition for a blue card, for instance, um, then you will most probably need entspricht or gleichwertig. Um, so here we have a degree where it says entspricht, which is a good thing, which means that your degree is recognized in Germany if you have this specific degree. So in this case, a master of commerce that lasted um, two years. Um, so here again, what you need to do is to save this, click on the print um, icon and then save the document or print it right away, whatever um, works best for you. And then once you're done, you can close the window again. Also, if you found that you've chosen a wrong degree, if this is not your degree, um, then uh, you can start your search again or also use the other search option up here. You can simply change the tab and also go by uh, the type of degree instead of typing in search words or going by um, your, the field you're in or by the length of degree, up to you. But um, yeah, that's how um, you can use the Anabin interface and how what the Anabin um, yeah, interface looks like. Now, if you have not found your degree here, um, then you may need to apply for a statement of comparability. Um, so let's see, um, that depends a bit on, as I said, on what exactly you need the um, document for. Um, so I'm not going to specify uh, this in this um, video, but um, I just wanted to give you an overview of uh, what the Anabin database looks like and how you can find out if your degree is recognized. If you want more information on what to do if your degree is not recognized or listed in the Anabin database, then let us know in the comments. So that was it about the Anabin database and how to use it. Um, let me know if you managed to um, find out if your degree is recognized in Germany. And also leave me a comment if you want to see more videos like this one where I take you to, um, yeah, through different tools and create kind of step-by-step -step guides. Let me know and yeah, all the best for the recognition of your degree.